Hey guys, it's me, Beck Cranford, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the dangers of postmodernism. Too late, we're already there. So here's the deal. What do we do within a postmodern society, within a global society, within a society that is plural? How, how can we show the love of Jesus to people? I think it's pretty plain and simple. If we actually follow what Jesus said, whew, radical idea, love my neighbor. Holy crap, you mean I should love my neighbor? Yes. Uh, but my neighbor's gay. Uh-huh, love him. Uh, my neighbor's Baha'i. Uh-huh, love him. You see, Christ, although he was in a pre-modern society, showed a very love-filled life. I mean, he would walk around and love people that no one else cared for, specifically those that were in power and even those who were in religious power within the religious institution at the time. I know it's a big uh, surprise to most of you because you're like, oh, wow, I thought we were supposed to just judge everybody and tell them what a big sinner they are. No, nope, eh, got that wrong. That's not very biblical. But the thing about the Bible and the thing about Jesus is, is that uh, Christ walks in love towards a lot of people, towards people who were heretics even, towards people who were theologically incorrect according to the institution, right? I mean, the Samaritan, the Samaritan woman, right? Was Christ a, as, a, as a Jewish rabbi supposed to even talk to a woman? I mean, what is that? Is that like some sort of like pre-feminism? Hell yeah. Yeah, it was. The dude was talking to a woman, giving her the time of day. I mean, back in, in this time, I mean, how did people treat women? Sure, there were some women who were in power. I'm not painting with a broad brush, right? There were some rich women. There were women who were important. There were women in the early church who were pastors. But, I mean, look at this figure of Christ. I mean, check him out. He's talking to this woman who doesn't believe the correct stuff according to the institution, yet he's talking to her. So how do we get along in a pluralistic society? I'm suggesting that we walk in love towards one another. I know, radical thought. And some of you, some of my friends, you're so worried about becoming anathema or becoming a heretic, and you're like, oh my gosh, but what about that slippery slope of sloppy agape? Well, that, it's too late for me, man. I've already slid all the way down that slope to a crazy radical love. So let me tell you a little bit more about being anathema and being a heretic. If you want to be a heretic, I I'm suggesting that every time that you ignore the poor, you are. I'm suggesting that every time you walk past someone who's different than you and ignore them, that you're being a heretic. I mean, how is it that we've come to some sort of orthodoxy anyways? It's just a bunch of people trying their best to explain about the great unknown, right? Is God not a mystery? Can God be confined to our language? God, the being that we worship, the thing that we worship, the thing that we cannot name, can that be confined to human language? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, Beck, but what about the Bible? The Bible says, the Bible says a lot of stuff. But here's the deal. The Bible is still a book written by humans, not by God. Eh, right? Okay, so we got that going on. Let's walk in love towards people. Things are going to be great. Don't be a heretic. Love people. I don't know, Beck. I'm just so worried about leaving behind Jesus, and I'm starting to get real worried that I might be part of the great falling away. Well, baby, let me tell you what. The church has fallen away. The church has fallen away from loving its neighbor, from carrying out the mission of God. So if you're worried that you're theologically incorrect, why don't you worry a lot more about caring after your brother, caring after your mother, caring after those who are forgotten, the orphan, the stranger, the widow. And when you get that stuff done, let me know how you're worried about being theologically incorrect or heretic. So here's the deal, guys. Walk in love. That's pretty close. That's one of the closest things that we can do, you know, to follow Christ. So, thanks. That's all I wanted to say today. Peace out. See you later, Gators. Take it easy.